Rolling. Good morning. Good morning. You alright? Might come to Avery Dennison's Graphic Centre. Just leave your stuff down there and go straight upstairs. So today we're at the Avery Dennison Graphic Centre in Milton Keynes. Uh, we've been speaking with Mark and Shane just giving us some top tips and really going into the scientific stuff to do with Avery Dennison's Supreme Wrapping Film. It was really good, the slideshow that we had at the start, sort of the theory side of things, to understand the scientific side to the vinyl, how it's made, why are we post heat and stuff like that. And we then applied that downstairs when we were wrapping and it really helps to sort of think of it a slightly different way. Yeah, the, the theory section of the day was really interesting, learning more about the structure of how vinyl was made, the cast, the calendar, and the adhesive and how it all came about in the first place. After the theory, I'll have a better understanding of how the glue system works and how you've got about 20 minutes before the glue starts to go off with the supreme wrapping film, so if I keep moving it, it should be fine. So the first test that we did, we were cutting using a scalpel, um, but without touching the backing paper. Sometimes you need to cut vinyl on the vehicle with your knife, okay? So, what I'm gonna get you to do is I want you to cut all of these lines. The aim is that the backing paper that the vinyl sat on is the substrate of the vehicle, so you do not mark the backing paper. So I'll do a quick demonstration. You're just literally using the weight of the knife, okay? So I'm going to try and cut the first two correctly, and then the third one I'll put a slight amount of pressure on, okay? If I then put my finger on top of the knife, and then a little bit more pressure, Hopefully, you'll see that I've cut into the backing paper. So on the backing paper, there's a silicon, okay? So if you've split the silicon, when I spray the cleaner onto the backing paper, the cleaner will seep into the paper. Therefore, you'll see where the cuts are. So I'm hoping the first two are good. The third one, I've cut into the backing paper. Okay? So it's literally the weight of the knife, okay? We'll get you up one at a time, so I'll get you to come up first, Becky. <laughs> to be honest, I was really proud of what I did. I think I absolutely smashed it and it was really good. Yes! <laughs> From the test I learned that it's literally just the weight of the blade. That's all you need. Like any more pressure and that, that's it. So it was quite an eye-opener to see. Like I'd done similar stuff before, but never to the extent of seeing how bad it could go. So I think that shows you if you did that to a wrap or something on a car and it's got underneath it, then the paint's buggered after as well. See in a few spots that you put too much pressure on the blade, um, so you've marked the back of paper. This is the place to make the mistakes, okay? Um, and I would rather, and I guess you would rather, mark the back of paper than the BMW. So the balloon experience and using the scalpel to cut on the balloon, there was a lot of pressure. The balloon test, oh, in the practice round I did okay, I actually cut it. I think when you do it on a balloon, you naturally use less pressure because you'll notice that you cut through the vinyl quicker than what you will on the vinyl. So I think you, you do pay more attention when you do it on the balloon. 
Atem. the balloon behind us as well um, so that made us jump and then obviously we were shaky when it actually came to doing it but I think it's good because then we felt that there was not more pressure on us but it was a bigger test and we had to really concentrate on not making that balloon pop. <laughs> Second round I knew we were using the 1105 Easy Apply series so I knew it was a lot thinner so I tried to use minimal pressure and in the end I didn't even end up going through the vinyl <laughs> but I know with a bit more pressure I could have done it. Yes definitely I'll be practicing cutting on the balloon again and I think it's something that's really important to Yanni and his work at Yanomai's that cutting on the car, you, you just don't damage the car. So the more practice you can get in, the better. <laughs> so after that, we then wrapped the door. Wrapping the door with Supreme was interesting because I'd wrapped like flat panel doors before, but never actually like commercial stuff, like going into a recess. So I paid really close attention to when Mark was explaining like his method. It was a bit of a learning curve when I started to when I finished, because by the end of it, I was more or less getting the hang of it. But at the start, I did need Mark or Shane to like explain it a bit more and show what part of the finger maybe to use. So we use a metallic brown vinyl, which was satin. And on particular jobs that I've done myself, there are some bits where I've guessed to know what to do rather than actually having someone tell me this is the best way to do it to stop it from failing. The trickiest part with the door was just going into that recess because I've never done it before so it was a bit of a new door to open and try. When they did it they're like like that so I was a bit like okay I need to have a bit more confidence in the material and what you can actually do with it. Mark took me to the side which was really nice and taught me about how to fit around the edge of the door correctly. Both Tom and Becky are very studious actually in the sense that they are very interested, very enthusiastic and very focused on what they're doing so it's been really a, a rapid learning curve being able to spend time with them, watching them progress and becoming comfortable and more and more comfortable and confident with what they're doing. Where we are started with them this morning when they came in in the training centre down to the workshop training downstairs, the hands-on element where they're working on bumpers, mirrors and panels and watching the conference grow with the product and knowing what they can do and what, what the product can do for them as well. When you're looking at wrapping, don't think of wrapping only as cars. You can wrap anything, in theory. You could wrap well, what I'm sitting on at the moment, the tables in, in our centre. We've got the walls wrapped, we've got up the stairs wrapped, we've got the floors downstairs also wrapped. You can decorate the walls in the family house. Pretty much anywhere where the surface is a good clean surface for an adhesive to bond to, you could use a wrapping film or a graphic film. So really anything that uh, you can let your creative mind go with and you can change the colour on. So we got to use a range of different vinyls today. We started with Avery 900 and 700 so that we could see sort of flat surfaces. We then used Avery Supreme wrapping film and we heated it into a recess on the door. And then we also used Chrome, which I've not had much experience of, but it was really good to learn what the material can take and how much you can stretch it and ways around getting yourself out of a sticky situation. So the new colours that we launched for this season in the Supreme wrapping film is matte olive green, the gloss rock grey, the pearl white snow, satin dark basalt, safari gold and the gloss sand sparkle. The Supreme wrapping range, it's ever evolving, it's ever being added to and developed and progressed. Just looking at these two over here, just 2016, there's the colours we had back then. Um, quite a few, 2018, significant difference, significantly more colours, continuously adding. If we spent time on every colour over here, we'd be here for a long time. It's a fantastic range. Get hold of one of these Avery swatches, you need one of these and you need to get up to date with them. So if you want the colour for the season, the trend, get a swatch, get the new colours from distributors. Today was really useful, I've learned a lot of different aspects of not only how to treat vinyl. There's so many people out there saying, oh, you do it this way, you do it that way. But to learn from one of the world's best companies or known within the wrapping industry, to learn their techniques is pretty, pretty mega. It's been really beneficial to both of us. So I've never been on like a technical wrapping course before and it's really nice to see that what I've learned is the correct way and what I've been practicing and what I've been doing is something that they teach here at Avery Denison. Wrapping is not something that you would learn in a day. It is a skill set. It is 
knowing your trade. So from that perspective, we do offer training in the UK, Milton Keynes, where we are at the moment. But we have training centres all over Europe uh, where we offer the Avery Base training on how to work with materials, how to understand them and how to use them properly so that you get the finish and the longevity that you're looking for and that your customer is expecting. You come on the two day course. We go through everything that you do on the audit, so it's almost like driving lessons for your driving test. And if you pass that, you can become level one or level two. Level one is for flat application, or level two is for 3D application, which is uh, recessed panels, bumpers, wing mirrors. You can sell a platinum warranty to your customers. The course is applied to both professional and amateurs. Obviously, you can pick the level of course that you do. It covers all aspects. So we've learned the basics, but then we've gone on to advance with the Chrome. Not many people can actually do that to a good level. What I've learned today, I feel would have been very beneficial to me from the start. If you don't have much wrapping experience, I really recommend it. You'll learn a lot from it and it will boost yourself when you come to working with mine or later on in life as well. Obviously, you do pick things up by working with lots of different people, but it's nice to know the facts. People that have had experience I think should come on the course as well just to enhance their skill set already. There's always more to learn and you'll never wrap a panel the same way as you wrapped it before. There's always a different technique or you'll try it slightly different. So I think this will be an eye opener to anyone that applies. There's always new techniques coming out. There's always new materials, new adhesive systems. So it's very, very important that we get many people through the doors we can so we can educate them. Go onto the website and book, come and see us.